right here at Wiesner in Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers, and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three-quarter tons, and the one-ton heavy-duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner in Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. The Oak Ridge Disciple House is a non-profit, faith-based, Christian character building ministry helping men 18 and older who are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Oak Ridge is committed to serving and helping men who are truly ready to surrender and want to change their lives for the better. Oak Ridge wants to be a part of God's work in restoring lives and family relationships. There is light at the end of the tunnel. That light can be found through the Oak Ridge Disciple House. For more information, visit them online at OakRidgeDiscipleHouse.com. Why are people driving from all over Texas to Wigner Hyundai to get a real deal? And during Hyundai Spring Upgrade, that was event, take even more. Get a 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL or a 2021 Tucson SE, your choice, 1988. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payment for 90 days. Or a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SEL, only 24888. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payment for 90 days. That's at 87 Wilson Road in Tonga or WiesnerHyundai.com. Check out America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, and the Hyundai Assurance program today. Good afternoon here in Katy, Texas, live from the Merrill Center. I'm Rob Hipp alongside my good friend, Mr. Ken Holland, where today the Southland Conference Tournament continues. It is the Sam Houston Bearcat women facing the Nichols Colonels. Ken, a tough heartbreaker for the men. Last night we had that call. They lost by only a point on a foul at the very end, but the women are still alive in this tournament. They are battling a very tough Nichols team, and for Sam Houston, it is their first game in this tournament as well. They're also the third seed, just like the men were. They'll face the six-seeded Nichols. Good to be sitting back to you, uh, right to your left here this afternoon, my friend. Well, Rob, like you said, it was a disappointing uh, end to the season for the Bearcat men last night, a one-point loss to Lamar, but we get to come back. It's great to have two teams in the tournament where you can kind of gather yourself back up, get excited, and root for our Bearcats. Well, Nichols advanced to the quarterfinals, a 67-57 victory against number seven, Abilene Christian. Chelsea Kane took care of the offense of the first half. We're talking about the Nichols Colonels, scoring 15 of her game-high 24 points before the break. In that second half, it was China Allen. She showed up as a junior transfer, hit four three-pointers, scored all 18 of her points following halftime. Sam Houston claiming the number three seed, two buys after they went nine and five in the conference. The Colonels and Bearcats split the season series with each team winning at home. Chelsea Kane was the star of the game for the Colonels in that win, posting career highs of 29 points and 13 rebounds. The Sam Houston team trying to take care of business here. They ended the season on a very strong note, by the way, a four-game winning streak. Started back, actually go back, Ken, called a five-game winning streak back to February the 13th at Central Arkansas. This was a Bearcat women team that struggled a little bit early, but they started to find their rhythm and a really good posture under head coach Raven Justice in her third year. Yeah, they started off with three straight losses on the road, and then they came back home, got a win, and then they turned things around and been really strong. They've had a couple hiccups with some postponed games that they had to uh, push through, but they're uh, clicking on all cylinders right now, so it's going to be an exciting game today. We'll go over the starting lineups here for both of these teams. Nickel State University will start with them. 11 wins, 13 losses 
in this 2021 campaign, 9-7 and seven in the Southland Conference under head coach Doobie Plaisance from Southern Mississippi in her 26th overall season. 323 wins, 440 losses, 13 of those seasons right here at Nichols where she holds a 166 win and 217 loss record. So the Colonels will start with a 5'7 junior guard out of Flowery Branch, Georgia. A transfer from South Georgia Tech, number one, Anna McKendry. It's a 5'4 sophomore guard out of Homa, Louisiana. Ellender, number two, Terrace McKay. A 5'8 sophomore guard out of Mokane, Missouri. South Callaway, number 11, Adrian Mann. A six-foot sophomore forward out of Prairie View, Louisiana. Dutchtown, number 24, Chelsea Kane. And last for the Nichols Colonels, a five-foot-nine redshirt junior forward out of Irving, Texas. And Ranchview, it's number 33, Brianna Washington. So again, for the Colonels, it is McKendry, McKay, Mann, Kane, and Washington. For your Sam Houston Bearcat women entering this afternoon's contest, Third seed in this round, 13 and seven overall this season. Nine wins, five losses in the Southland Conference this season. Under head coach Raven Justice, the University of Sciences alum, 2004. In her fifth overall season, 76 wins, 64 losses. It's her third season here at Sam Houston, where she holds a 48 win and 30 loss record. A coach that has really turned this women's Bearcat basketball program around, Sam Houston, this early afternoon, they'll start things with the five foot two junior transfer guard out of Louisiana, the transfer from Benola College, number one, Jalisha Williams. The five foot 11 a junior forward out of Florida. It is number two in the Southland Conference Player of the Week to earn a lot of honors. We'll talk more about those as things go on for Amber Leggett. The five foot two redshirt senior guard out of Baytown, Texas, Goose Creek High School, and a transfer from University of Texas, El Paso. It's number 10, Faith Cook. A five foot 10 senior forward out of Arlington, Texas, the Pratt Community College transfer number 11, Courtney Cleveland. And last, but certainly not least, for your Bearcat women, a six foot two junior forward out of Orlando, Florida, Daytona State Community College, number 21, Madeline Batista. So again, for the Bearcat women, it is Williams, Leggett, Cook, Cleveland, and Batista. Ken, we are set for a good one here in the Southland Conference Tournament. Hopefully, the Bearcats can get off to an early jump and take an opening round victory. But we haven't even started yet. We're looking forward to this one. Well, Rob, we get to sit right across from the Bearcat bench, get to see what's happening over there uh, this afternoon. It's going to be a fun game to call. Thank you for letting me sit with you. Going to have some fun. Thank you for being here. You know, the last meeting between these two teams, it was on at Johnson Coliseum, where it's always hard for an opposing team to win. It was a 72-58 to 58 Sam Houston victory. Anna McKendry in that game had a career-high 21 points for Nichols State women's team, but a rough showing in the first half by the Colonels. Too much to overcome in that 72-58 to 58 loss at Sam Houston. Nichols scored just nine points in each of the first two quarters, had 20 turnovers before the break, resulting in that 36-18 to 18 deficit. And with the help of McKendry's 18 second half points, though, the Colonels turned it around, but were never able to shrink the deficit to less than eight points. And Sam Houston evened up uh, the season series. Sam Houston in their home white jerseys, white shorts, even they're on the road here at Merrill Center in Katy, Texas. Bearcats written across the back in orange. The numbers in orange outlined in black. The shorts have a orange and black trim. The opening tip is controlled by Williams, and we're underway here in Katy, Texas. Thanks for joining us. As Faith Cook has it on the left side, rotating over the right wing, trying to work in traffic. She'll step back, takes a jumper, buries it for the first basket. So one shot. Hey, we're shooting 100% to start this ball game, Ken. I like that. That's a high percentage. So again, we're here in the first quarter of play. 9.37 to go. As Nichols has it back on the right side. We'll continue to get things rocking and rolling. Again, thanks for joining us. Flip up a shot here and a foul. An early one's going to be called on Madeline Batista as the Nickel Colonels were trying to drive inside off that left side. So Madeline Batista will pick up her first personal and the first team foul in this first quarter of action. It is Terrace McKay at the line here to shoot free throws. A 67% free throw shooter. She nails the first one. Two to one. Bearcats with a one-point advantage as we'll see an early substitution here as Kirsten Green will head over to the bench. Maybe she actually she's going to hand something off to her trainer over there. 
And we got a shoe being tied down here by Courtney Cleveland. Take a little bit to get things in motion here, Ken. You know, I didn't realize we have a Fex microphone in this game, too. We didn't have it last night. Next free throw. You heard that, Ken? I did. Man, I sound like we're right there on the court. We need to back off a little bit. Second free throw, good as well. We're tied up at two apiece here. 33 seconds into this one in Katy, Texas. Spaith Cook will bring it for the Cats from right to left. Crossing over to the left wing. Trying to work a dribble. Bounce pass goes down low. Kaylee Jefferson turn around off the right side. Rolls in for Kaylee Jefferson. Nice job by Kaylee Jefferson. Really like to see her get started early. Back to the Nichols Colonels on the right side. The ball goes up top to Anna McKendry. Now the pass here to Adrian Mann off the right side, and she does it easily there off the right side of the glass. We're tied back at four apiece. Bearcats have it on the left side to Faith Cook on the left wing. Guarded by McKendry. Takes a right-handed pass over to Williams to Jefferson. Good ball movement here as it goes over to Leggett. Now down low, Cleveland. Turnaround jumpers too strong. Poking around for the rebound, and it goes out of bounds off the Colonels. Oh, they say it goes off of Sam Houston. Mm. Well, Ken, we were talking before this game. You happened to know a head coach, Plaisance, and, uh, you know, had a little brief chat with her. No, that Nichols. was a different game. A different, it, oh, different oh you're talking about the UCA game. Yeah, the ne Central, never mind. Central Art, yeah. All right, right wing three here by the Colonels. No good. You're like, Rob, where are you going with this? <laughs> Courtney Cleveland back to the front court here for the Cats. And she is blocked by McKendry. It goes right back into the hands of the Colonels. Feeding it up front is McKay. Takes a hop step here, and it's good. She may have got away with the travel there, and that shot is good, though. Not going to discredit the Colonels. They have good ball movement here early, and they've got a lead 6-4. to four. Bearcats trailing Faith Cook from three off the front of the rim. Cleveland with the high rebound. The putback isn't there. The ball knocking around. Cleveland gets it again. Left side, yes, for Courtney Cleveland. How about that? Cleveland stayed active and after it. And after three attempts, two of them were from her, able to drop it in off the left side of the glass. It's 6-6. Six six. We're tied here. McKay down low. Or Chelsea Kane, rather. That shot wasn't there. Faith Cook trying to weave through traffic from the top. Now quickly over to the left side. On the baseline here is Jaleesha Williams. Puts up a shot partially blocked from behind by McKendry. Uh, she's going to be a force in this ball game. A turnover, though, as Jaleesha Williams hauls it away. It's one-on-one -on -one against McKay. She'll flip it up. This shot isn't there. Bounced around. Goes back into the hands of McKendry. Boy, a lot of movement here early in this ball game. Chelsea Kane has it down outside of the semicircle. Misses that shot. McKendry has it on the right baseline. Nice around the back pass over to Kane. Good ball movement here. Left wing three, McKay. This one well off the front of the rim. You heard it hit like a dud. And we are tied still at six apiece here. 7.07 to go in the first quarter. You can just I just like hearing those sounds, Ken. Just boom. I have a feeling we'll be laughing a lot today. <laughs> hey, man, after that one last night, you know. Yeah, we need to have fun today. We'll have a good one. Believing in these Bearcat women for a victory here today. We are tied, six apiece, seven minutes to go. Faith Cook has it, driving inside an open lane. She tried to scoop it up and go off the left side. An awkward layup there, and it wouldn't fall in. The rebound in the hands of Adrian Mann. She's got it in the backcourt. Now into the front court, moving from left to right. Faith Cook guarding her. Quick pass goes over to the left corner, trying to work inside McKay, and she traveled. So a turnover here by the Nichols Colonels. We're still tied at six apiece, 6.39 to go here in this first. Ken, a lot of movement early by both of these teams. Yeah, it really is. They, they, both teams need to settle down and run some offense, though. Faith Cook has it back for the Cats on the right wing with a right-handed dribble, picks it up. Now a chest pass goes over to Cleveland. Cleveland trying to work inside, and a blocking foul called here against McKay. That is the first foul by Nichols. And that foul will go on Terrace McKay as she's got one personal, one team foul. Here's a shot for Leggett off the right side. It's not good. Goes up top to McKay here for the Colonels off the left. And Courtney Cleveland fouls her. She'll have two free throws coming up. A little huddle by both. You know, you see teams huddle up quite a bit, but I've never seen them both teams huddle up that close to each other before. I mean, it was back-to-back -back in huddles down there inside the paint. Spy on each other. <laughs> so McKay at the line here to shoot free throws, a 67% free throw shooter. Left-handed delivery on the way, won't fall. McKay with four points in this ball game. She's already two for two from the charity stripe here this early afternoon. 
That was her first miss. Here's the next one. This one on the way, and it rolls in. McKay with five points. It's a one-point Nichols advantage. Cats trailing 7-6. to six. Sam Houston has the ball. 6-14 to go here in the first. It's Faith Cook on the right wing. She'll try to work her way from a high Cleveland screen. Puts up a shot. It's not there. And the rebound goes to the Colonels. McKay has it in the backcourt. Now into the front court on the far side. Moving from left to right is Kane. Kane inside against Jefferson. Swoops this one up. It's not there. A putback shot isn't there for Washington. And Jefferson hauls it back down. Good defensive set there for the Cats. Jaleesha Williams has it on the far side as he tries to fly one up over to Cleveland. It was over her head and a turnover. Here comes Nichols. It's Adrian Mann. She'll find McKendry at the top. Thought about a three. Now rotates. Takes one from the right wing. That shot won't fall. Jefferson trying to save it. And she traveled as he was trying to save that ball, Ken. She hopped a couple of times on that right leg. Good effort, though, by Jefferson. Yeah, it was a great effort. She recognized she was getting off balance trying to find somebody to pass it to. But she, like you said, hopped on her feet. Matt McRobert. Watching in the booth. Appreciate you, Matt. The punter for Sam Houston football will have their game tomorrow on KSAM at noon facing Nichols. Inbound pass. Washington's jumper from just outside the free throw line is good. It's a three-point deficit for the Cats, trailing 9-6, 5-21 to go here in the first. Faith Cook loses the handle. Cleveland, though, to clean it up, still fighting on the court. Eventually, it's poked away and turned over into the hands of Washington. Brianna Washington picks up her dribble. Actually, that's not Washington, it was Chelsea Kane. Kane picks up her dribble, finds McKenzie on the right side as she'll retreat to the N and D of the Southland logo at center court. Now over to the left wing. Good defense here by Jaleesha Williams. Lady Colonels with 10 on the shot clock. We've got to do something here. It's McKay. This one poked away by Faith Cook, and Cleveland comes up. Cleveland trying to feed Cook up front. It got knocked down on a turnover right back to the Colonels. Straight away three. This one bounces hard off the front of the rim for Kane, it's not there. Faith Cook has it on the near side. 4.37 to go, Cats trailing nine to six here in the first. Cook has it on the left wing, bounce pass to Cleveland at the top from the left elbow, inside the paint. She'll go inside and a charge called against Courtney Cleveland. Well, that's two early fouls on Courtney Cleveland. Don't want to see that. The young lady provides a lot of support, 13 points a game. One of the top three scores on the team. And as you just mentioned, early fouls here for Courtney Cleveland. The Bearcats have three of them. We'll step aside and take a break on a media timeout. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Sam Houston Women's Basketball on the Bearcats Sports Network. March brings warmer weather and even hotter deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers, and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three-quarter tons, and the one-ton heavy-duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. The Oak Ridge Disciple House is a nonprofit, faith based Christian character building ministry helping men 18 and older who are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Oak Ridge is committed to serving and helping men who are truly ready to surrender and want to change their lives for the better. Oak Ridge wants to be a part of God's work in restoring lives and family relationships. There is light at the end of the tunnel. That light can be found through the Oak Ridge Disciple House. For more information, visit them online at oakridgediciplehouse.com. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hibb alongside Ken Holland. We are live from the Merrill Center in Katy, Texas. Sam Houston women's basketball facing the Nichols Colonels here. In the Southland Conference Tournament, Nichols with a three-point advantage, 9-6. to six. Before we went to that break, it was a foul called on Courtney Cleveland, her third turnover of the ballgame, her second personal foul. Not in the act of shooting. Nichols will inbound here. Way deep back in Bearcat backcourt. Pass goes up front. Jefferson knocking it away. Great defense there by Kaylee Jefferson. How about that? She knocked it away from Kane. And so the 
Lady Colonels will have to re-inbound here with 4.26 to go in the first. Adrian Mann has it. Good defense here. Showing a little pressure in the backcourt by the Cats. Mann finally gets into the hands of McKendry, guarded it by Williams. McKendry, her pass goes over the left wing. Driving inside, turn around here. McKay, she traveled, it's a turnover. Offensive foul, a little push there, a little yep. right elbow. And that'll turn it over to the Sam Houston. Yeah, she came into the lane and Madeline Bautista was just there to cut her off and she pushed her arm in her gut. That is McKay's second personal, the second team foul of this first quarter. Here's a jumper. How about that for Amber Leggett finding it here? Amber Leggett scoring her first basket of the game. She averages 19 points a game. 9-8, Nichols leading by one. They have the ball moving from left to right. It's Mann from the left elbow. Good defense here by Batista. She is all over her. Finally gets the pass up to McKay. Shot clock winding down with 10 on it. Bounce pass goes back up to Washington. Washington takes a long jumper from the free throw line and nails that one. She had a couple of long range shots already from behind that free throw line this afternoon. And it is a 11 to eight Nichols lead. Faith Cook has it for the Cats on the far side. Little swing pass goes to Leggett. She wants to penetrate inside and reached in and we'll see if it's a foul there. It may be against Tetris McKay again. Well, we'll see it's a blocking foul called against. It's gonna go on I believe it's on Chelsea Kane. Again, we're on that opposite side, Ken. I know I keep bringing that up, but it's hard for us to get information and when we can't see it. That was a little bit hard. There was two down there. Yeah, it was on Kane. Yeah, it was on Chelsea Kane picking up her first personal foul. Back the other way here, another foul against Nichols. So two quick fouls here. This one was in the act of shooting and Amber Leggett will go to the line here to shoot two. One important thing uh, for the Bearcats, if they get Nichols in foul trouble, Nichols does not have as deep a bench as the Bearcats do. First free throw nailed there by Amber Leggett, a 70% free throw shooter. That's a good point, Ken. You know, you've been on the analyst side on a lot of the TV broadcasts this year, many of these women's games, and you've been able to see firsthand just how these opposing teams Kind of run things versus the Bearcats. Both free throws good. Here's a Nichols back the other way. Shot hard off the rim. Leggett saves it from going out of bounds. How about that? It goes over to Jaleesia Williams on the far side. Williams almost losing her handle. Picks it up. Jefferson from the right wing. Over the head pass to Leggett. Inside the lane. Left side. Yes. Oh, Mama, what a play right there by Amber Leggett as she found a lane and glided in off the left side of the glass. 12 to 11. Bearcats regain the one-point advantage. We've got a whistle here and a foul against Sam Houston. It's going to go on Jaleesha Williams. Well, the Bearcats did a good job pressing right there. Jaleesha Williams just came in and had a little bit of contact. It's the first personal foul on the junior guard, Jaleesha Williams. Four team fouls here in the first quarter of play. 2.44 to go. Nichols trailing, they've got the ball back here, 12 to 11, it's a Bearcat lead. And welcome everybody in, thanks for joining us. For those of you in the booth joining us as well, my mother and grandmother watching back north of Austin and Georgetown, saying hello from Georgetown, get going Cats. My mom just calls it how it is, Ken, get going, I like it. <laughs> my grandmother's 94 years old, she's also listening in. Love you, Nanny. McKendry has it at the top, pass goes over to Adrian Mann. Man trying to work inside from the semicircle, flips this one up. Oh, it's a charge. How about that for Madeline Batista? She said, I'm going to take a stance, run right through me. I'll take the charge. Madeline Batista just came up and gave the muscle sign to Amber Leggett after that charge take. Bearcats opportunity of. Do a little extension here. First substitutions of this early afternoon by Nichols. And back the other way here, Nichols missing a shot and a foul called against Sam Houston. It's going to go on Amber Leggett. She kind of looks over saying, what? Amber Leggett picking up a foul on the offensive side. You hate to see those. Five team fouls apiece now. That was in the offense, though, so no free throws coming up here as both teams are now in the bonus. 
That foul just a little bit earlier, by the way, it was on Adrian Mann. That was her first personal for Nichols. Back the other way, though, the first personal foul for Amber Leggett of Sam Houston. Nichols has it. It's McKendry. She'll pass over to Kristen Green, who checked in moments ago. Here's another long jumper for Kane, that, or for Washington. It won't fall. Here comes Amber Leggett on the near side. She'll find Faith Cook on the corner to Batista down low. Jefferson trying to slice and dice her way inside. Blocking foul. McKendry is upset. Boy, she took her two hands and slapped the floor. And she is hot. Her teammates are over there trying to calm her down. You gotta be careful. I think you get a little technical foul yeah. out there. Great move by Kylie Jefferson, by the way. Well, she went in motion and McHenry kind of went with her, so she did not have her feet set to get the block. I don't quite know what she's upset about, but. Man. Under two minutes to go here. At the line is Kaylee Jefferson. For Sam Houston, a 69% free throw shooter, nails the first one. Boy, that net just popped beautiful. Shot there on that free throw. As Jefferson will take a deep breath. Actually, a couple of deep breaths. Bends her knees, right-handed delivery. How about that? Both of them in, Ken. Free throws, always important. Got to make them, especially in the tournament. Here comes McKendry, back to the left side. Slams in, or she ran into the backboard. Or the backstop of the goal, rather, but she laid it in off the left side. 14 to 13, Sam Houston by one. Faith Cook puts up a shot with pressure in her face. That one's missed. Feet up front to McKendry as she'll try to go to the right side, drops it up and good as she quickly went down there. And Sydney Kemp, who checked in earlier, the freshman guard for the Cats, tried to get back in time. She was in front of her, but it was a good hesitation move by McKendry. Bearcats trailing by one, 15 to 14. Leggett, turnaround jumper, left-handed stroke. Yes, she got it. Boy, she's so fundamental. We talked before the tip-off started about how fundamental women's basketball is. It's a lot of fun to watch. It really is. McKendry trying to work inside here for the Colonels. And she will go over to China Allen, who just checked in moments ago, back up top to Washington. Left wing almost loses that one. Kirsten Green, it is turned over. Here's Sydney Kemp to the right side. High, yes, and one. Oh, mama, what a play on the defensive side, knocking it away. And Sydney Kemp finding an and one opportunity for the Cats. Well, Sydney Kemp did a great job of cutting off that lane, intercepting that pass, taking it all the way down for the bucket and one. Foul called there on China Allen, an and one here for the freshman Sydney Kemp. 50% free throw. She's only 6 of 12 this year. Sydney has played in 19 of the 20 games. Averages just a single point a game. I have a substitution on the court as Jasmine Womack will check in for the first time this afternoon for Nichols. Heading over to the bench, Kirsten Green. So here's Sydney Kemp on the left side to shoot free and one free throw. She'll take her time, takes three dribbles, spins the ball, bends her knees, right-handed delivery. This one rolls in. Went hard off the front, then bounced in. Checking in for the first time tonight for Sam Houston. It's the five foot eight junior guard, Jay LeVay. As Sydney Kemp heads over to the bench, she'll get a pat on the back of the head from head coach Raven Justice. I like that name. Swing it up, right side, drops in and good here for the Colonels. May have been Chelsea Kane there. Bearcats leading by two, 19 to 17, 37 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Inside Leggett from the paint, spin, jumper. Boy, she had a hit in her face. How about the put back by Madeline Batista? Amber Leggett was trying to force one inside. Fancy footwork. She could have been on Dancing with the Stars. The shot was missed, and Batista was there to Knock it back in. Back the other way, Sydney Kemp off the left side. She's fouled, and she'll have two free throws coming up. This is an athlete, Ken. You got to be honest. You got to call it both ways. And McKendry, this is a young lady who has had a lot of success. As a Nichols Colonel, she leads the team with, uh, well, one of the leading, second leading scorer with 11 points a game. Yeah, McKendry's uh, impressive to watch. Great ball handling skills. Drives the lane. When she came down here earlier, she knew that the defense was coming up on her. Did a little stutter step. First free throw is good, a 74% free throw shooter. McKendry nails in the first one easily. Here's the second one, quick in a delivery here and a shot, and the next one is good as well, so she makes both of them. Both free throws good there for McKendry. 
as she has five points in this ball game. Bearcats hold on to a two-point advantage down to nine seconds here in the first, 21 to 19. Cook driving in, floats it from the paint, rolls around, won't fall. She's fouled, she'll go to the line, shooting two with 4.7 to go here in the first. Boy, nice little hesitation. Flips it up off the right hand. It was just inches from dropping in, Ken. Could have been another and one. It's very close. DeAndre Young will check in for the first time tonight as Madeline Batista heads over to the bench. She'll get a high five from her teammates. Faith Cook, first free throw off the right hand. Easily does it. Bearcats looking good from the free throw line. They are a perfect six for six this afternoon. Here's the second one. It's on its way, and it's good as well. I said they were a perfect six of six. Now make it seven to seven. I said that. Here we go. One second. McKendry at the buzzer will shoot one. Oh, it's off the top of the glass. And doesn't drop in. I said that, Ken, uh, because I'm trying to, like, get rid of that broadcaster jinx cliche, and sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. As so, soon as you said that, I was afraid she was going to miss that one. So. <laughs> Same here, but she dropped it in. After one, the Bearcats finding a little separation as a team making three of their last four shots. Amber Leggett, three of her last four, and Sam Houston has a 23-19 advantage as we end the first. Second quarter coming up. Stay with us. This is the Bearcats Sports Network. Check out America's best warranty for 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain limited ones and the Hyundai Assurance program today. The Oak Ridge Disciple House is a non profit, faith based Christian character building ministry helping men 18 and older who are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Oak Ridge is committed to serving and helping men who are truly ready to surrender and want to change their lives for the better. Oak Ridge wants to be a part of God's work in restoring lives and family relationships. There is light at the end of the tunnel. That light can be found through the Oak Ridge Disciple House. For more information, visit them online at oakridgediciplehouse.com. Friends, welcome back. Rob Hipp alongside Ken Holland. Having some fun up here today in Katy, Texas. Thanks for joining us for Sam Houston women's basketball. 23 to 19, Ken. Sam Houston women looking good here coming out early. They struggled a little bit, but started to find some rhythm. Really like the momentum that I'm seeing through that first quarter of play. Well, one of the things they're doing, they're pushing the ball. They want to have a fast-paced offense, but they're also playing great uh, full-court defense, pressuring uh, Nichols. Again, if you're joining us in the booth, would love to hear from you. We'll get to that here in a minute. Leave us a comment if you're in the social media feeds. Here comes Nichols McKendry right out of the gate of the second quarter. Misses her shot. The rebound, though, is bounced right back to her. She'll take a three from the right corner. That shot off the front of the rim. A rebound here. The Bearcats trying to haul this one in. Young is down there on the court fighting for it. And a jump ball. The possession arrow will go to the Bearcats. Boy, great effort there by... The freshman forward, DeAndre Young, is the Cats will have a little bit of a huddle under the rim. Kaylee Jefferson showing her leadership out there. She was talking to her teammates. So it is Jefferson to inbound. Faith Cook in the backcourt. Up front, Jalisha Williams. DeAndre Young also down there as she stands near the rim back on the left side. Amber Leggett also on the court. Here's Faith Cook on the left side. Darts a pass over to Williams, back over to Jefferson. Jefferson trapped, she's double teamed to Leggett. Leggett double teamed, she'll spin around, takes an awkward jumper, that's an air ball. Saved though by Jefferson, over the left wing, it's Faith Cook from downtown off the front. Leggett trying to haul it in and it goes out of bounds off Nichols. Well hey, if you're gonna miss the shots, try to get those offensive boards, the Cats have been pretty good about that here so far this early afternoon as they've already hauled in six of them. 
Faith Cook will inbound the basketball. 20 seconds on the shot clock to Leggett. There it is, Amber Leggett from Faith Cook on the baseline. 25-19, Sam Houston up front. China Allen has it. She'll drive in to the left side, right around Young, and drops it in for two. It's a four-point cat lead, 25-21, 8.53 to go. Women's basketball here in the Southland Tournament. Over to Williams. Williams will find Young, right baseline. Hard shot there, it's not there. Jefferson reaching up, trying to haul in a rebound. And another jump ball here. And the possession arrow will go to Nichols. Rob, we've talked about this before. You don't see all the stats on uh, Kaylee Jefferson, but when you see her go up for a rebound like that, tough play. It's great to watch. Nichols will inbound the basketball here, trailing 25-21. to 21. Up high to McHenry, a little give-and-go action. Goes right back to China Allen. Allen to McHenry, and we got a foul here. We'll see who it's on. They call it on Faith Cook, a little hip check. Yep, yeah, it's on Faith Cook. It's the first team foul of this second quarter, the first personal on Faith Cook. McKendry gets it down low, back up top to Allen, kick back here, driving inside, right side, rolls in, and that shot drops for Chelsea Kane. Faith Cook has it for Sam Houston, leading 25-23. Cook, hop, step, floater off the back of the square of the glass. It isn't there, and a rebound eventually goes back to Nichols. High pass goes up front to Kane, and Courtney... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jaleesha Williams. I wish I would have had my phone to take a picture of that. Yeah. She was going inside trying to make a play, and she just hops up on top of the progressive sign over here, kind of a table, and takes a seat. It was a, it was kind of a picture pose there for uh, Jaleesha Williams. That was awesome. Unfortunately, though, Faith, uh, Jaleesha Williams called for a second personal foul on that. She's having fun. Looks like she had a pretty clean block on that, but... Yeah, we don't want to talk about blocks. We're, we're the home announcer. Yeah, we don't want to talk about blocks. Yeah, we we saw what happened last night. First free throw here for the Colonels on the right side is good. An opportunity to tie this ball game back up as, Nor as Nichols has went on a 5-0 run for the last 110. Kane made the first free throw. Second one good as well. We are tied. Back at 25 apiece. Sam Houston has led by as many as six when it was 25-19. to a little 6-0 run here now by the Colonels. Leggett losing her handle. That'll leave Kemp open on the left wing. Goes coast to the left side. The shot's not there, but she'll go to the line shooting too. Well, you decide to double team Amber Leggett in the backcourt. That's going to open up somebody back in the front court, and it was Sydney Kemp. She had a nice lane. Nichols, though, finally collapsing on it, but not before Kemp drove inside and picked up the foul. Did you see how, and we had a good angle on it right here, how DeAndre Young backed up into the lane and gave her a, a free path on the left-hand side. Did a great job boxing out and giving that lane. The first free throw is off the front of the rim. It won't fall. That foul back the other way was on China Allen. It's her second personal and the second team foul by Nichols here. 7.58 to go in the second quarter. Southland Women's Basketball Tournament. Sydney Kemp will bend her knees, right-handed one. This one rolls in. She splits the pair, and that'll break the tie. Bearcats back by one, 26 to 25. China Allen will check out of the ball game, and checking in for the first time this afternoon is Kate Manley. Nichols back with it here on the right side. It's Alex Balazova. Balazova. McKendry puts up a shot. Leggett may have had a hand on yep. it. Here comes Kemp across center court. Right wing, Faith Cook for three off the side of the rim. Rebound McKendry. Nichols trailing 26-25, 7.34 to go here in the second. McKendry on the left wing, Cook on her. Back up top to Manley. Manley will drop this one off to Chelsea Kane. She'll take a jumper from just behind the free throw line. It's not there, but poked back out by Manley, and Nichols will have another opportunity. Oh, man, Manley looked like she was backpedaling while the ball was in her hand. There was no travel call, and then Washington was able to make a jumper. Bearcats trailing 27-26. They've got it back on the left side. Here's Leggett floats one up. She's fouled, and she'll go to the charity stripe. 
Don't know about that last one. Manley had it in her hands. You kind of follow. We'll see it on the replay here. Maybe not. I'm glad they have the replay. I mean, it was a. I don't want to take away the credit from Manley as she is an athlete out there as well. It, just from here, from where we were at, it looked like she took a couple of steps as she was going backwards. Well, we had a pretty good view. Good angle right here for us to look at it. Alex Balazova checking in for the first time this afternoon. At the line here, Amber Leggett with an opportunity to regain the lead. Trailing by one, first free throw, left hand, good. Jefferson having a chat with head coach Justice back in the backcourt. Amber Leggett made the first one. She's got 11, 10 points in this game, trying to get 11 and break the tie, and she does. Back and forth we go. Bearcats have led this game five times. We've seen it tied four times so far. McKendry down low to Manley. Leggett hikes it out of the air. How about that for Leggett? Quick pass over to Kemp. She'll find Faith Cook, corner, working inside. She loses her handle, but able to hold on to it. Leggett at the top, straightaway three. It's on the way off the front of the rim. There's Faith Cook. She ran in, got the rebound, took the shot. It's not there. Jefferson with the rebound. And we've got a whistle here, and... Travel. Travel is called on Jefferson. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Just sir, you know, I, I tune out a lot of what I hear, you know, in the ambiance, but I have to say this one. I heard someone say, now you know what it looks like. <laughs> well, I was talking to that person that you heard. I know who that is. And I told her we're going to be hearing her all during the game, and we're going to be laughing at her on the broadcast. <laughs> Is that a Bearcat fan? It is. Okay, all it right, is. all right. <laughs> I know who. I know who, exactly who it is. It's turned over. The Bearcats have it. Faith Cook pushing into the front court. Trying to go coast to coast. McHenry poking it away, but Kemp is there to clean it up. She still has it now. Back over to Faith Cook, right wing. Finds Jefferson baseline on the right side. Floats it up, and a foul called on the offensive side. Is that a foul and then a timeout? Or do we just call a timeout, Ken? It happened so fast. Faith Cook had a still before that possession. We'll have it sorted out when we come back. 6.06 to go here in the second quarter. Sam Houston with the one-point lead, 28 to 27. We'll step aside for a minute on a media timeout. This is the Bearcats Sports Network. even hotter deals right here at Wiesner in Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers, and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three-quarter tons, and the one-ton heavy-duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner in Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. The Oak Ridge Disciple House is a non-profit, faith-based, Christian character building ministry helping men 18 and older who are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Oak Ridge is committed to serving and helping men who are truly ready to surrender and want to change their lives for the better. Oak Ridge wants to be a part of God's work in restoring lives and family relationships. There is light at the end of the tunnel. That light can be found through the Oak Ridge Disciple House. For more information, visit them online at oakridgediscipleshouse.com. All right, welcome back, friends. Rob Hip alongside Ken Holland. 6.06 to go here in the second quarter. We are live the Southland Conference Women's Tournament as the Bearcats holding on to a one-point lead, 28-27. to 27. If you're in the booth, we'd love to hear from you. Send a comment. Let us know that you're out there tonight. I mentioned Matt McRobert earlier joining us, my mother and grandmother back in north of Austin, Texas. Miss Crowley saying, love you, Raven. How about that? Thanks for joining us tonight, Miss Crowley. Appreciate you and for that message. Ken, been a fun one so far. If you're in the booth, you get to enjoy me eating my favorite snack, the grandmother's miniature vanilla cookies. I don't know why you'd want to see that. I forgot to put it on the static shot, Ken, when we went to break. You didn't bring me any. <laughs> hey, they have good snacks here, man. Back at it, Faith Cook from the inbound. She'll work her way. Long two-point jumper off the side of the rim. It's knocked back by Christine Ezimako, who checked in. But a foul is called here against the Cats. I 
Didn't see who that was on, Ken. I think it was on Kaylee Jefferson. Looked like two of a one and a three. Bearcats trapping McKendry. She's able to get rid of it as she gets the ball to Adrian Mann. Mann has it on the near side. Checking back in moments ago. Almost loses the handle. Leggett got a hand in there. Mann able to hold on to it. That foul was on Ezemako just a few moments ago. Up top, Manley. Oh, this one gets knocked away by Jefferson and turned over. Sydney Kemp to Leggett on the left side. She'll float it up and one. Oh, mama, what a play by Amber Leggett. That all started with Kaylee no, no. Jefferson. And wait a minute, do we have an offensive no, it was foul? An offensive foul. Oh, no. Wow. Yep. On Amber. You have got to be kidding me. Kaylee Jefferson. Oh, well, yeah, that left foot was still moving by McKendry. That call could have went either way, Ken. In any case, Kaylee Jefferson really started that offensive set as she knocked it away. Leggett almost knocks this one away. Nichols trailing 28-27. Manley has it at the top on the right side. She'll take a jumper. She was wide open. Why not? The shot is missed. Back the other way. Right shot there off the right side by Mann. And she had to work through a Bearcat and drop that one in. Faith Cook has it on the far side. Bearcats trailing 29-28. Five minutes to go. Leggett inside. The shot, she tried to waltz her way in, and it was too strong. Back the other way, Nichols trying to extend their lead. Jefferson, oh, it's a blocking foul against Kaylee Jefferson. Free throws coming up here for Chelsea Kane. Wonder if she stepped inside the circle. Let's see. She did. That left, Just that right foot, it's an and one. Her right foot was in the circle. Right there, the last moment. Can't do that. It is an and one opportunity here for the Colonels with a three-point advantage, 31-28, 4.55 to go here in the second. Kane at the line. Her free throw, the and one is good. Bearcats trailing by four. Faith Cook has it. Bounce pass down to Leggett. She's triple team. Throws it up. How about that? Amber Leggett said, get it out of here. Off the right side, and it's good. Amber Leggett don't play. Back the other way, Nichols. Acrobatic shot. Somehow that one almost fell in for Mann, but it did not. Jump ball, possession arrow, Sam Houston. Jefferson has been such a force down here on the defensive side. She's creating plays for her offense. Really like what I'm seeing from this young lady so far early tonight. She plays uh, really aggressive, especially on the defensive side, getting those rebounds. Christina Zamako inbound to Faith Cook. Bearcats trailing by two, 32-30, 4.25 to go here in the second. Leggett thought about a jumper from the free throw line, pulled it back, Jefferson right baseline. Inside the paint, bounce pass goes over to Kemp. Now into the hands of Zamako, back to Kemp on the left wing. Up top, Leggett with 10 on the clock. Called a high screen, Jefferson floats this one up inside the paint, bank it home. All right, Amber Leggett. She is starting to find the juice. She's got 14 in this game, and the Bearcats have tied it back at 32. Back the other way, McKendry. She's trying to use her fancy footwork. Drops it off. Manley jumper off the front of the rim. Rebound Leggett. Here come the Cats. A chance to take the lead. Left-handed pass to Faith Cook. Right wing three on its way. Bounces off. Rebound as Imako. Right side, yes. Foul before the shot. Oh, my goodness. It was a foul before the shot, and inbound instead of an and one coming up here for Sam Houston. God, let him play through that. Shot will not count. Inbound here. Faith Cook quickly to leg it. Floater left baseline off the left side of the rim. It's not there. And the rebound pulled down by Adrian Mann. Mann on the near side. Moving from left to right. Trying to work inside on Ezemako. The pass goes back to Kane. She'll take a jumper from the right elbow. It's not there. Manley Using her athleticism, Hall's in the rebound, but her putback isn't there. Faith Cook has it. Bearcats chance to break the tie. On the far side, Faith Cook right wing. Crossover into her right hand. Blocking foul called here against Nichols. It's a blocking foul on Kirsten Green. So Kirsten Green and with the blocking foul there. That is her first... I believe it may be her second personal. Nope, it's... No idea, Ken. They don't even have her up on the board up there. Jumper good here for the Cats. It's a long two-point shot from the right side. 
Back the other way. Shot missed by the Colonels. Put back here and a foul a call as Chelsea Kane went up with it. As in Mako on the defensive side earlier. And Faith Cook made that jumper moments ago. Six points for her. Foul was on the Cats. And at the line here to shoot two is Chelsea Kane. Three for three, make it four for four now on the early afternoon. Kane next free throw, it's on its way off the front of the rim. That's her first miss of the night, now four of five. Rebound to the Cats. One point, Sam Houston advantage. Faith Cook on the right wing as she's directing traffic. Left hand dribble, high screen, Leggett. Rotates to the top of the three, over to Leggett. Down low, she was trying to go to Jefferson. Jefferson didn't pull away from it. It's a turnover. Kendry has it in the backcourt, crossing the Southland logo at the timeline. She'll call plays for her teammates. Weaving through traffic, Faith Cook almost pokes it away. Here's a three, green, right wing, too strong. Rebound as Imako to Faith Cook on the far side. Cats with that one-point advantage. Leg it to the right side. Flips it up. It won't fall. And a foul called. We'll see if that one goes against Manley. Two shots coming up for the Bearcats. Amber Leggett. We'll see who this is on. If it was on Manley. Tell you, the information tonight isn't flowing as quickly as it was yesterday. Chelsea Kane is who the foul was on. Didn't see who it was. It was Chelsea Kane. That is her second personal foul in the fifth team foul. The Cats are in the bonus now. First free throw missed here by Amber Leggett. What an early day she has had, though. 16 points, 6 of 12 shooting. That is her first miss from the foul line. The Cats are 10 of 12 from that free throw line. Here's the next one on its way. This one rattles home. 35-33, Nichols trailing, 2.20 to go here in the second quarter. Man has it, Leggett pokes it away, it goes between her legs, back to Faith Cook. Cook wanting to go with it to the right side, it's not there, as Amoko trying to get the rebound, and it goes into the hands of Kirsten Green. Here comes Green for Nichols as she weaves through two defenders. Rotates over the left key, down the left baseline, she's trapped near the corner, ball moving around here. Going down low, it turned over. Sydney Kemp gets it from McKendry. It's Kemp, as she'll try to wiggle her way to Faith Cook from downtown off the front. Bounces around, Jefferson going over the back. We'll see if it's a foul here. Jump ball. Or a jump ball. Boy, lucky there, because Jefferson went over the back, and it's just a jump ball. Possession arrow will go to Nichols, though. Bearcats are still looking from something, Ken. From downtown, they are 0 of 5 this afternoon. They haven't nailed a three-pointer yet. 23 rebounds for Sam Houston. They turned it over 11 times, so is the Colonels. McKendry on the far side. Oh, that's a carry, no call on that. From the left wing, here's a three, man. This one bounces hard off. Goes to Ezemako on the rebound. Faith Cook across center court. She'll go from right to left, rotates over to the left wing. So try to shake a defender, and it goes off of her foot out of bounds as a turnover. Good defense there by Kirsten Green. <laughs> Boy, some of these girls, you got to be careful. Man, they, Kirsten Green knocked that one out of bounds. She went right up to Faith Cook and just clapped right in front of her face. Yeah, it gets to see a little bit of emotion out of these teams at this level. 35-33, the Colonels trailing 1.15 to go here in the second quarter. Over to Mann on the left wing. She'll rotate around a high screen by Balazova and drops this one in as she went all the way around off the right side of the glass. And we are tied again for the seventh time this afternoon, 35 to 35. Left-handed pass from Faith Cook over to Kemp. This one gets knocked away as Ezimako wasn't ready for it. McKendry to the left side, she'll break the tie with 45 seconds to go. Bearcats. Don't want to go into the locker room down. Faith Cook has it on the right wing. High screen as Imako. Faith Cook slings one down to Kemp. Back over Faith Cook. Right wing three on its way. Yes! Oh, baby, what a play by Faith Cook. She nailed it from downtown. Well, great ball movement by the Bearcats. And 
They finally get a three-pointer. Ball poked into the backcourt. Trap defense here. 17 seconds on the clock. Mann has it over to the left wing. Now down low to Balazova. She misses the shot. Bearcats have the lead. 38-37. And an opportunity here with five seconds on the clock. Cook steps a long three. Oh, that was so long. Jefferson trying to get the rebound. And she can't haul it in. Boy, Faith Cook took a NBA range three plus about five feet. But the Bearcats led by Faith Cook nailing a three to take a one-point advantage into the locker room at halftime, 38 to 37. Got halftime coming up. We'll be back in a few minutes. Stay with us. This is the Bearcats Sports Network. deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three quarter tons and the one ton heavy duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com Chevy, find new roads. The Oak Ridge Disciple House is a non-profit, faith-based, Christian character building ministry helping men 18 and older who are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Oak Ridge is committed to serving and helping men who are truly ready to surrender and want to change their lives for the better. Oak Ridge wants to be a part of God's work in restoring lives and family relationships. There is light at the end of the tunnel. That light can be found through the Oak Ridge Disciple House. For more information, visit them online at oakridgedisciplehouse.com. Barbie Drop, Florida, Texas, the Weaver Hyundai. To get a real deal. And during Hyundai Spring Upgrade Sales event, save even more. Get a 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL or a 2021 Tucson SE, your choice, nineteen eighty eighty eight, Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payment for 90 days. Or a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SEL, only twenty four eight eighty eight, Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payment for 90 days. That's at 87 B. Wilson Road in Tonga or WeaserHyundai.com. Check out America's best warranty, 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain limited warranty, and the Hyundai Assurance program today.
and even hotter deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers, and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three-quarter tons, and the one-ton heavy-duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. The Oak Ridge Disciple House is a non-profit, faith-based, Christian character building ministry helping men 18 and older who are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Oak Ridge is committed to serving and helping men who are truly ready to surrender and want to change their lives for the better. Oak Ridge wants to be a part of God's work in restoring lives and family relationships. There is light at the end of the tunnel. That light can be found through the Oak Ridge Disciple House. For more information, visit them online at OakRidgeDiscipleHouse.com. Why are people driving from all over Texas to Wiener Hyundai to get a real deal? And during Hyundai Spring Upgrade, that was a bit. Save even more. Get a 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL or a 2021 Tucson SE. Your choice, $19,888. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payment for 90 days. Or a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SEL, only $24,888. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payment for 90 days. That's at 87 Wilson Road in Tonga or WeaverHyundai.com. Check out America's best warranty, 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain limited ones, and the Hyundai Assurance program today. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. All right, friends, welcome back. We're about to get started here in the third quarter. I'm Rob Pipp alongside Ken Holland. Thanks for joining us here from Katy, Texas at the Merrill Center. Uh, many of you on our social media feeds this afternoon. Again, if you've got a message, we'd love to hear from you. You can send those directly over YouTube, directly on our Facebook stream. Quite a few folks joining us here so far. 38-37, to 37, Faith Cook hit a three-pointer in the final moments, not at the buzzer, uh, but they're on her second-to-last possession to give the Bearcats this one-point advantage. Sam Houston, a nice little close there, Ken, to that second quarter, setting them up for a good third quarter here in Katy. Yeah, it was a back-and-forth two quarters between Nichols and Sam Houston. Bearcats were able to get up ahead. It's going to be interesting. Quite a few people, uh, players have two fouls. And then also just the, the stamina for a Nichols team that played last night. Again, Sam Houston, their first game of the uh, the tournament, maybe have a little bit more fresh legs to withstand these next two quarters. So we're about to get going here. Faith Cook taking care of business from three-point land, as I mentioned earlier, nine points in that first half of play. But how about Amber Leggett? 17 points, six of 12, shooting five of six from the free throw line. She's your leader on the team, and she's showing why as she's taking care of business in that first half. Good to see her and getting some good movement here. Of course, Sam Houston on a nice little streak entering this contest. As their last loss came on February the 10th to Southeastern Louisiana. Since then, it's been all victories for the Bearcats. As we are back in action here and opening possession and a jump ball arrow immediately I will go to Nichols. Not the way you want to come out of the gate. So third quarter we are. 9.52 to go here in the third as we're just underway, eight seconds into it. It's Nichols, Sam Houston. Women's basketball here, Rob Hip alongside Ken Holland. The Colonels will now move from right to left. Over to Mann, Mann trying to work from the right side and she loses the handle and it goes out of bounds. Cats bringing it from left to right, it's Faith Cook. Little chest pass goes to Amber Leggett near the free throw line. Thought about driving in. McKendry guarding her. Bounce pass down low. How about it? The pass goes to Delisha Williams. The assist there by Amber Leggett. Bearcats extended to three. 40 to 37. Nichols has it. It's Washington. She'll float one up inside the paint. That shot isn't there. Good defense, Jefferson, but she was able to work through it. And Washington on a second attempt in the offensive rebound. Second chance points off the right side. That shot was good. 40 to 39. Bearcats with it. Leggett gets it knocked away. 
And a whistle here and a foul is called. It'll go on Anna McKendry. So Anna McKendry will pick up her second personal foul. That is the first team foul of this third quarter. And Amber Leggett at the line here to shoot free throws. Just mentioned her earlier, having a phenomenal game here. 17 points. Five of six from the free throw line. It's Amber Leggett, 70% free throw shooter, bends her knees, left-handed delivery on the way. This one rattles in. Well, they needed a big game from her, and she's stepped up as she does in these type of contests, Ken. Uh, that's the reason she's the player of the year in the South End Conference. Next one on its way is good as well. Zach Nuttall got those honors on the men's side. How unique is that for Sam Houston to get the men and women player of the year title? Just shows you the leadership and the coaching at this university. The shot here, no, it's a pass, goes to Washington for Nichols, and she banks this one in off the left side of the glass. 42-41, Sam Houston with a one-point advantage, 8.37 to go here in the third. Faith Cook, right-handed pass, goes to Leggett. Leggett trying to work from the semicircle. Puts up a shot. How about it for Amber Leggett off the left side of the glass? McKendry quickly back for Nichols. Right-handed pass. This one goes to McKay. She'll put up a long three. It's not there. And the ball goes out of bounds off of Sam Houston. Boy, I thought for a moment that may have went off of the Bearcats. Jaleesha Williams will head over to the bench. Checking in for her, Courtney Cleveland. So it is Jefferson, Batista, Faith Cook, Cleveland, and Leggett on the court for the women Bearcats. Inbound pass to McKendry. She'll launch one from downtown, trying to get her own rebound. Tried to save that one, and she does. Wow, she hit the deck hard. And it's turned over, though, to Faith Cook. Faith Cook with it for the catch. She'll stop, jump, shot on its way. Yes, bottom of the net, good for Faith Cook. You know, McKendry is a, a strong athlete, Ken. I've talked a lot about her. She tried to save a ball from going out. She tried to throw it off Faith Cook. McKendry hit the deck hard, but she just kind of hit there. Here's a right shot off the right side of the glass. It's not good. She's frustrated. She swung her right arm. She's getting frustrated with herself, and you can't do that. You've got to keep your head in the game. This one's poked out of bounds by Nichols, and it will remain with Sam Houston. And I get it for McKinder. She's frustrated with herself, but you can't do that. You have got to get up and continue to play. Because there was two plays, Ken, after that, that she kind of gave up, and that really cost her team a basket there. Sam Houston took advantage of it. And that Inbound. very well may be the difference in the ball game. Absolutely. Who, who stays in it mentally. Inbound pass from Cook to Cleveland, and Cleveland drops it in easily off the left side of the glass. 48 to 41. Sam Houston leading by seven now. And another miss by the Colonels. It's the largest lead for the Bearcats of the night. Leggett has it in the backcourt over to Faith Cook to the right side. Here's Cleveland, left baseline. Oh my goodness, a charge there. I think Mann sold that one pretty well. Looks like Courtney Cleveland kind of put her arm out into Mann. Of course, they have the flopping call now. Uh, it is what it is, and it's not what it isn't, Ken. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> you can't go wrong saying that. 48-41, Cats leading by seven. As McKendry has it into the front court from right to left. Turned over, Cleveland has it. Trying to go one on two, Washington to her left. Cleveland throws it up. It won't fall, but she'll go to the line, shooting two. Courtney Cleveland, four points this afternoon in nine minutes of play. This will be our first time at the free throw line. Foul is on Washington. That is her third personal and the second team foul here in this third quarter. And McKendry, she, boy, she's just continuing just to walk and kind of somber around on the court. And I don't think Coach Playson's too happy about that. She pulls her off the court. Boy, McKendry just walks right next to Coach, too. I mean, you got to drop the attitude and play ball. Cleveland misses the first free throw. I get it though. I mean, I've been frustrated, you know, at times, but it's just one of those times where you just gotta, you gotta play. Your team depends on you. That was kind of like you yesterday, getting, you know, throwing your headset there, Ken. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he did not do that. <laughs> Cleveland makes the second free throw. I said that, you know, David, our station. He goes, 
you said kid threw his headset. And, I, and he goes, but then I know you were joking because you said he was. I said, kid would never do that. Yeah, Dave's like, don't throw our equipment around. <laughs> Nichols, they turn it over. Jefferson trying to haul on to it. She's got it on the court. She was calling for timeout. I don't know if she got the timeout call, but the jump ball situation will go back to the Bearcats anyways. Once again, there it is, Jefferson. We talk about her not showing up much on the stat line sometimes. Four points in this game, but she has been a force on the defensive side, hauling it, chasing in basketballs, doing everything she can to keep our team up front. It's a nine point cat advantage, 50 to 41, 6.49 to go here in the third. And Jefferson has five rebounds, an assist, a steal, a block. That will take us, I wonder if they call a little time out here. I think they're just cleaning yeah. up a little moisture on the court. So we'll keep it right here, Ken. Bearcats, again, leading by nine, 50 to 41. And the officials will whistle this one back in play. As the Cats will line up, Faith Cook to inbound. They'll move out of the line, Cook looking. Goes over to Batista, back to Cook on the right corner, just in front of us. Cook now on the right wing, swings it down low, turn around jumper, Batista's not there. Jefferson poking the rebound to Batista, back over to Faith Cook on the right wing. Once the high screen, Jefferson. Jefferson will rotate back to the right wing. Cook keeps the ball. Down low to Amber Leggett. Turn around floater. Yes, Amber Leggett. Boy, that fancy footwork. I know I say it quite a bit, but Dancing with the Stars is going to have a new celebrity on their TV show after this ball game. That was as smooth as the other side of the pillow, Rob. 52-41. It's an 11-point Sam Houston lead, and a travel by Nichols will give it right back to the Bearcats, baby. Chelsea Kane took an extra step. I think the Bearcats have the Colonels a little rattled here in this third quarter. 52 41, 6 12 to go here in the third in this women's matchup of the Southland Conference Tournament. Sam Houston back to the right side. It's Faith Cook from the elbow. Now inside the paint, flips it up high. That shot isn't there. And Jefferson saves it from going out. Over to Leggett. Leggett, she'll dart it back over to Jefferson, right baseline, picks up her dribble, back over to Batista, right side, yes! Oh baby, Madeline Batista had a nice position inside, dropped it in easily on the height advantage off the right side of the glass. Bearcats really showing up here now. Nichols back to the left side, floater from inside the semicircle, that one rattles home. After the Bearcats have been on a 17-4 run, it was a 10-0 run before that bucket just a few moments ago by Chelsea Kane. 54-43. Cats have led by as many as 13 just moments ago. Sam Houston back with it. It is Leggett. She'll take a long two-point jumper. Sinks that one home from the left side. That'll get a bench off their feet for Sam Houston. 56-43, 5.08 to go here in the third. Over to Washington on the left side. She'll bounce it down to Kane. Kane off the right side of the glass. That shot is good against Batista and Jefferson. Kane now with 14 points, leading her team in scoring. Bearcats back with it. Jefferson on the right side. Picks up her dribble. Over to Faith Cook. Long three from the wing. This one is an air ball. Batista trying to save it, and she stepped out of bounds. A good effort by Batista. Faith Cook with a rare air ball. She misses them, Ken. It's usually it ricochets off the rim. That was just an air ball. The air conditioner vent turned on over there. I felt the air, and it blew it away. It did. And she was beyond the men's line, too. That'll take us to a break. Bearcats on a nice run here as Nichols trying to respond. 56 to 45. Sam Houston up front. 4.42 to go here in the third from the Southland Conference Tournament at the Merrill Center in Katy, Texas. We'll be right back in a few moments after this. March brings warmer weather and even hotter deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers, and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three-quarter tons, and the one-ton heavy-duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. 
The Oak Ridge Disciple House is a nonprofit, faith based Christian character building ministry helping men 18 and older who are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Oak Ridge is committed to serving and helping men who are truly ready to surrender and want to change their lives for the better. Oak Ridge wants to be a part of God's work in restoring lives and family relationships. There is light at the end of the tunnel. That light can be found through the Oak Ridge Disciple House. For more information, visit them online at Oak Ridge Disciple House. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip alongside Ken Holland, 56-45. It's Sam Houston Women's Basketball on 101.7 KSAM Digital and the Bearcats Sports Network. Thanks for joining us in the booth this afternoon from Katy, Texas. Been a fun one so far. You know, going back to shooting here for Nichols, they have still not made a three-pointer. They are 0 of 10 from the three-point range. Sam Houston has only made one. It was Faith Cook to gain the lead. And that lead has not been broken late since the second quarter. Back at it here. Nichols has it from right to left. It's Tetra Terrace McKay working inside, trying to wiggle through a defender. She drops that one in with Madeline Batista right behind her off the right side of the glass. Good move there by McKay. Bearcats back to a single-digit lead, 56-47, 4.20 to go here in the third. Faith Cook has it at the top, moving from left to right. And this one knocked out of bounds as it goes over Amber Leggett's head. That ball coming back over here to me, and uh, I say don't pick it up. Yeah, you got to forget because we're in tier three, Ken. So uh, you know the There's officials were right here. the officials were very quick about don't give us that ball because we're in tier three, they're in tier one. <laughs> hey, we got do you get to keep those, Ken? <laughs> I was gonna put an assist down for you, but I can't now. Batista steals it away. Bearcats moving from left to right. It's Faith Cook. And she'll work inside. Picks up her dribble and another one here. As this one rolls right under our table. And this time, Ken, not one for you. Sorry. I'll, touch it. I'll just touch this one. <laughs> this is our good luck basketball Yeah, it's now. a good luck ball there. 56-47. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, I forget because, you know, it, it's, you got to be careful. Here's a shot up off the right side by Nichols. That shot isn't there, but Washington has the rebound of the putback is good. That just goes to show you just how strict things are. You know, we're I'm in testing, of course. You're okay, but with us down in the court, we're in a, what's called tier three here. Here's a jumper by Cleveland on the left baseline. This one won't drop in. The rebound goes into the hands of China Allen. Up front finds her teammate. Left side of the glass, McKay, and it's a nice run here now for Nichols. They trailed by as many as 13, and that has now been cut to a five-point Sam Houston lead. Nichols on a 10-2 run over the last two and a half minutes, making five of their last six shots. We'll take a timeout for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment. Nichols on a run here. We'll see if the Bearcats can hold on and stretch their lead back out with 3.12 to go here in the third on the Bearcats Sports Network. Even hotter deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers, and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three quarter tons, and the one ton heavy duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. Friends, back at it here. Rob Hip with Ken Holland, live from the Merrill Center. 
in beautiful Katy, Texas. This game brought to you in part by our good friends at Wiesner Hyundai Conroe, where you buy for less. How about the Oak Ridge Disciple House, helping men 18 and older through life's hurts. Visit OakRidgeDiscipleHouse.com if you or someone you know needs help with addiction. Again, that's OakRidgeDiscipleHouse.com. And also our good friends at Wiesner Huntsville. It's the home of the bottom line. 56-51, 3-12 to go here in the third quarter of play. Sam Houston with his basketball leading Nichols right now as Nichols, Ken, is on a nice run here. Yeah, it's a back and forth game. You know, and when you're in the tournament, I mean, you're going to be more aggressive. You're, it, it's all on the line. You talked about how some of the Nichols players a little bit frustrated with the, with the drought that they were in. Well, they've scratched their way back. Ken, this game is also brought to you by our good friends at Edward Jones, Ken Holland. So pre appreciate your help being here, Ken. Thank you for helping us. Investing that makes sense. I like it, man. Investing that makes sense. Appreciate you, Ken. You do so much in the community, so much for Sam Houston, so much for the local high school back in Huntsville. And honored to sit next to you today and have you on the analyst side. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for having me. Back in it here, Bearcats trying to find some rhythm again as Courtney Cleveland has it moving from left to right. We've got a little whistle here and an eight second violation. Cats did not advance it and a turnover will give it back to Nichols. Well, the Colonels did a great job of that full court press. Double teamed on the ball. It's the 18th turnover by Sam Houston in this game and that's starting to cost them now. Nichols has it on the left side, trailing by five. They trail by as many as 13. A shot floated up here, it won't fall. Leggett poking around, she has the rebound. Leggett wanting to go quickly here. She's going through traffic. Off the right side of the semicircle, picks it up, and they say it's a jump ball. Possession arrow back to Nichols. I don't, you know. It was a block is really what it was. I think she didn't grab a hold of it. <laughs> it is what it is. 56-51, right to left we go. Man has it, Nichols with the ball. Over to Washington on the right wing. She'll rotate back to the top. Finds man on the left wing. Now a drop off pass to McKay. McKay from the top. Washington, right side three, not there. And a rebound drops into the hands and it's finally grabbed by Kaylee Jefferson. Man had it for a moment. Jefferson got it in her hands. Here's Faith Cook back to the right side. Catch leading 56-51. It almost got knocked away. Faith Cook has it. Driving inside. Finds Batista. The assist. The shot. Good for Madeline Batista off the left side of the glass. And a turnover back the other way. It's Cleveland to leg it, leg it left side, and one. Oh, Mama the Bearcats coming back alive here in the third. How about that, Ken? Well, just great aggressive play. And Amber Leggett's always going to go strong to the basket, drawing the foul. She does a great job of finishing the, the play to get the two and the and one. Here's the end one on its way, won't fall, rebound to Chelsea Kane. And now back the other way to the left side and uh, that ball knocked away, it will remain with Nichols. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Colonels trying to inbound. Jefferson able to get rid of it, though, into her hands. Here come the Bearcats. It's Faith Cook. They're on a roll. Cook driving inside of McHenry. Floats it up. Oh, Whoa. yes! That one dropped in one, and she'll get a hug from Madeline Batista. McHenry reached in on it, and the Cats again will have another and one opportunity. Well, Faith Cook drove into the lane. She knew that she got fouled, but she continued to play, threw the ball up there, got the lucky bounce. We'll take it. Faith Cook makes the end one. Oh, 
Back the other way, Nichols missing it. Here comes the Bearcats again. Batista not ready for this one, but Cleveland was there on the backside of it. She has it over to Jefferson, right wing. Over the head pass up top, Faith Cook. Thought about a three, now driving inside of McKendry. To the left corner, here's a three by Leggett. Yes! Bury it at the bottom of the net. The Bearcats finding life, stretching it here in the third. Yeah, that's the player of the year for you. 65 to 51. Bearcats up front, the Colonels Washington left wing. Jumper is short. Rebound into the hands of Batista. Sam Houston on a 9-0 run. They've got their largest lead at 14. Amber Leggett over to Faith Cook. There's about a 15 second separation between the game clock and the shot clock. Over to Cleveland. Cleveland trying to work inside. Loses the handle, picks it back up. She'll put it up off the left side. This one isn't there and it's knocked out of bounds by Nichols. So the Cats will have it here. Shot clock is now off. 18 seconds to go in this third quarter. And here's the inbound, and it's good off the right side of the glass. Bearcats leading by 16 now as they're finding separation here in the third. McKendry with four seconds on the clock. She'll step back, launches a three. It's not there, and that will do it for the third quarter as the Bearcats close it out on an 11-0 run. Nichols goes scoreless over the last three minutes, only making one of their last six shots. And the Bearcats with a lot of life here heading into the fourth. We'll step aside and take a break. 67-51. Sam Houston up front. We'll be back in a minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. deals right here at Wiesner in Huntsville just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three quarter tons and the one ton heavy duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner in Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com Chevy, find new roads. The Oak Ridge Disciple House is a non-profit, faith-based, Christian character building ministry helping men 18 and older who are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Oak Ridge is committed to serving and helping men who are truly ready to surrender and want to change their lives for the better. Oak Ridge wants to be a part of God's work in restoring lives and family relationships. There is light at the end of the tunnel. That light can be found through the Oak Ridge Disciple House. For more information, visit them online at oakridgedisciplehouse.com. back friends Rob Hip alongside Ken Holland thanks for joining us for Sam Houston women's basketball here in the Southland tournament at the Merrill Center in Katy Texas Bearcats leading 67 to 51 it's their largest lead of the evening as they have it here to start this fourth quarter Batista turnaround jumper this one takes a couple of bounces won't fall and the rebound here Cleveland may get caught with a foul as uh, Chelsea Kane came down with it Rob I was looking up uh just with Amber Leggett having 29 points. Tenth game this season with 20 plus points for Leggett, moving her into. Faith Cook on the far side. Up over to Sydney Kemp. Kemp will retreat, running some clocker. Back to Faith Cook. Faith Cook at the top. 
Picks up her dribble, she's double teamed. She'll find Batista, Batista gets it to Jefferson. Jefferson near the right corner, back up top to Ken. Shot clock, Bearcats have to be mindful of it. As Faith Cook from downtown straight away, it's an air ball. Her last two threes have been air ball. All right, friends, welcome back. Coming out of the timeout, a three here from the corner for Jaleesha Williams isn't there. Leggett with the rebound, turn around, put back. Good and one. Amber Leggett is fired up. And Ken, she has 33, one point away from tying. You said that eighth spot, is that correct? She's already eighth in, uh, in scoring in Bearcat history, but to get the uh, career high, 34 points. Had a little bit of an internet issue there a little bit ago. We apologize for that. We're back on here. In the fourth quarter, 75-55, Leggett. Free throw and one on the way, and it's in. That ties her season high, career high. 76-55, not a, can't find a better night to tie it on that career high. McKendry, she tries to pass, and Jaleesha Williams pokes it up in the air. It's one-on-one, -on -one. Williams to the right side. The shot won't fall. And Williams will go to the line here, shooting two. Seventy-six, fifty-five. Jaleesha Williams at the line here to shoot two. Bearcats up front, five twenty-seven to go. First free throws on the way, and this one's good. Here's the next one. Yes, nails them both. Terrace McKay has it on the near side from right to left. Crossover dribble, trying to work her way. Zip, dip, and... Boy, Madeline Batista went down pretty hard down there. And a blocking foul is called against Batista. Luckily, she hopped right back up. Ken was a little worried for a moment. And good thing yeah. she got up. She went down hard. You know, it's crazy here at the Merrill Center. It's a beautiful facility. And this is part of Katie ISD. I mean, this is a high school place here. Yeah, they they uh, they built this with uh, some hot funds in Katie because so much development was around here. And so the district built the, the facility, and they do stuff like this. So it's a revenue generator for the district. It's a really good idea. It's a very beautiful facility. Been a great spot for the Southland Conference for many years. Of course, this is our last Southland Conference tournament, Ken. Yep. And it's on to Vegas and the WAC starting things. Here's the next free throw. The first one was made. The second one missed by Terrace McKay. A rebound to Amber Leggett. Leggett with 34 in this ball game. 
Sidney Kemp has it on the right wing. Trying to work inside. Kemp goes all the way out, retreats, puts it up off the right side. It's not there, but Batista cleans it up off the left side of the glass. And Batista in double digits now with 10 points on the night. McKendry has it. 4.53 to go. Nichols trailing 80 to 56. Here's a three from the right corner for McKay. That one won't fall. An offensive rebound, but we've got a whistle and a foul here on the offensive side. It's going to go against Chelsea Kane, and the Bearcats will get it right back. And, Rob, the Bearcats have just turned it on in the second half. They're on a 24-5 to run over the last eight minutes, and now make it, how about, 26 run as another basket off the right side there. 82-56. McKay on the right wing, drops it off Washington, elbowing her way inside, won't make the shot. Jefferson up front, here's Leggett, she'll put it up off the left side, easy does it. Jefferson the assist and the Bearcats are running away with this one here in the Southland Conference Tournament, 84-56. to The winner of this game and it appearing more and more now that it will be of course the Bearcats, we still got some time left. But Sam Houston will face Southeastern Louisiana tomorrow at 4 p.m. And we're going to try hard to have that game here on the Bearcat Sports Network. We've got a, a minor conflict uh, with football at noon. And, of course, we've got to cover the football game. Uh, but we're still trying to figure out logistically on the women's side at 4 o'clock. So we'll figure out a way to try to make that happen. Rob, I'll be sitting right here waiting for you to come. <laughs> I, don't see, I don't see how you can do it. There's no way, There's yeah. No way. I won't be able to do it. But, uh, And, you know, with the way that things work, I'm the one that's kind of been in the COVID protection and credentialed to be here along with you, of course. But uh, we may end up having to do a good old remote broadcast tomorrow. We're going to try to figure out something and see if we can logistically put that one together and, and see what we can make work here. Again, it's 84 to 56, 408 to go here in the fourth quarter of play. We come out of the timeout. Bearcats on a 28 to 5 run over the last nine minutes and made four of their last five shots. Amber Leggett, 36 points. That's a career night now for that her. That's a career night. Player of the year. You talked about that earlier. Zach Nuttall was the player of the year for the men's team. Only the set, uh, third time in conference history that that's happened. Last time that happened was 2015. It's never happened for the Bearcats at all. So great recognition for those two great players. Amber Leggett had 34 versus Midwestern State back on November the 25th. Nichols turns it over as the inbound come out of the timeout, an immediate turnover. It just has not been their night. Sam Houston out rebounding Nichols now by nine, 45 to 36 in this game. They've scored 50 down in the paint, 24 points off of 23 Nichols turnovers. Again, 3.59 to go here in Katy for this round. Sam Houston commanding 84 to 56. Jaleesha Williams, a foul on her. And you know, despite all of this, Nichols, that's only their third team foul. A lot of activity here in this final fourth quarter as Kaylee Jefferson will inbound to Jaleesha Williams at the top. Rotating off of her foot. That goes out of bounds. Haven't seen too much of that tonight. That's maybe the only blemish in the last eight or nine minutes for Sam Houston. Well, I think McKay got a hand on that ball. And then as Williams was trying to get her handle back on it, dribbled off her foot. Jay LeVay on the court alongside Alyssa Osborne. Christina Zimako back out there as well. On the inbound, it's stripped away. How about it for Jaleesha Williams off the left side? Not able to make the shot. The ball staying in bounds, and it's <laughs> saved by Alyssa Osborne. Osborne back up top, finds Madeline Batista. Drops it back off over to Osborne on the left wing. Crossover dribble, 3.26 to go. Bearcats commanding 84 to 56. For Jaleesha Williams, and reach-in foul called here on Williams as Chelsea Kane just a little too aggressive there on the inside. What a great job by Alyssa Osborne coming into this ball game, being really aggressive to try to get that loose ball over there. 
keeping it alive for the Bearcats. Good friend of mine, Dave England, joining us from back in uh, north of Austin. Appreciate you, Dave. Captain with Georgetown Fire Department. Appreciate you joining us in the booth. And also April Lampley, the Lampley family. Appreciate you, April. Been fun seeing you all season on our In the Booth feed. Osborne has it for the Cats at the top. Pass goes over to Williams, trying to work inside. Knocked away. Batista able to save it. Six on the shot clock. Osborne, bounce pass. Here's a three from the left wing for Williams. It's not there. Boy, the Bearcats just still playing so aggressive with this commanding lead. And it gets knocked out of bounds, and we'll go right back to Nichols here. 84-56, Sam Houston leading Nichols with the basketball. We'll have a couple of substitutions on the court as Kate Manley checking back in uh, alongside Adrian Mann. McKendry over the left side, up top over to Mann, to the left wing, the ball goes to McKay. McKay's had a good game here for this Nichols Colonels team. She'll dart a pass down low, back over to Manley on the left wing. A little give and go action back to Chelsea Kane. Through two defenders, puts up a shot, that one's good. A nice move there by Kane as she was able to split a couple of defenders. 84-58, 2.32 remaining. Bearcats up front, Osborne has it. Rotating up top off of a high screen by Ezemako. Down low, the pass goes over to Batista. Back up top, Jaleesha Williams trying to drive in. <laughs> McKendry trying to sell a foul there. Not going to get that call. Back over. Here's a three for Williams off the top and no good. And the rebound into the hands of Mann. We're going to have a foul here against the Bearcats. So that is Sam Houston's fifth team foul. So Nichols will shoot the rest of this 209 in the bonus. Sidney Kemp given the play of the game. She's had a great game here. We were just looking at it there on the on the TV side of things. Sydney Kemp had four points in this. <laughs> to me, on the radio side, the play of the game is Amber Leggett getting her career night on that basket. <laughs> so free throws coming here for the Colonels on the left side, trailing 84 to 58, 209 to go here in the fourth. Right-handed free throw shot on the way. This one bounces off. No good for Man. She'll have one more coming up. Next free throw, this one is good, so splits the pair. That'll do it for Chelsea Kane as she will get a hug from head coach Doobie Plaisance. Had a great game here for Nichols, finishing up in this ball game with 16 points on six of 18 shooting. So the Bearcat women just pouring it on here in this second half of play, turnaround jumper here, a foul before the shot. It's an offensive one against Sam Houston. It's tough there. Batista had the shot. She made no, it, but that it didn't was a count. Travel. She took an extra, extra step. step. Yep. Under two minutes to go, 156 here in Katy, Texas at the Merrill Center. Here in the third round of this tournament. Missed shot by Nichols. Sydney Kemp will bring it from left to right. She'll find Faith Cook. Bearcats will just run some time here. 84-59 the score. Faith Cook guarded by Madison Gill, who checked in moments ago. Cook over her left shoulder, the assist to Madeline Batista. We have seen that connection tonight, and Faith Cook with her 10th assist. So Faith Cook with a double-double in this ball game. And the Bearcat offense is just clicking on all cylinders. That's going to be great going into tomorrow's game against Southeastern. Missed shot here, and we'll have a substitution as the Bearcats will call. Well, I thought they called a timeout. We'll see if that was it. No, they're just going to have a substitution here as DeAndre Young checking back into the game. Sidney Kemp out there as well as Faith Cook. Faith Cook will bring it into the front court. A minute to go here. Sam Houston rolling, 86-59. Here's Osborne for three. Why not? Uh -huh. How about it for Alyssa Osborne on the right corner? That three-point line is the second one of the night. It took a while. Faith Cook only had the previous three-pointer. They gave the Cats the lead for good back at the end of the second quarter. So we went into halftime, and Osborne, she wanted to get into the action. And well, these Bearcat girls are excited here across from us. The bench is all on their feet. Kaylee Jefferson's hyped up. Madeline Batista, they're all smiles here. 
in Katy, Texas. Faith Cook has it at the top. Over the right wing into the hands of Sidney Kemp. Kemp finds Osborne who hit that three moments ago. Crossover dribble trying to wiggle her way inside the paint. Blocked by Manley. And Nichols will have it. We're down to 24 seconds. Spin around here off the left side. Goes over the back and the Bearcats can hold for the last shot. Coach Raven Justice with her team. 89 to 59 still out there coaching strong. A turnaround program under her leadership in the third year. And the Bearcats will advance to the second well, actually the fourth round, because they had two buys. They will foul space southeastern uh, Louisiana. That game tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Your hats go off to the Nickel Lady Colonels as they fought hard through the first two quarters, but it was simply too much by the Sam Houston Bearcats as they are victorious tonight. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. When we come back, we'll have a very quick post-game wrap-up. Sam Houston advances 89-59. Nine here tonight in Katy, Texas. We'll be back in a moment on the Bearcats Sports Network. March brings warmer weather and even hotter deals right here at Wiesner in Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers, and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three-quarter tons, and the one-ton heavy-duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. The Oak Ridge Disciple House is a nonprofit, faith-based, Christian character building ministry helping men 18 and older who are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Oak Ridge is committed to serving and helping men who are truly ready to surrender and want to change their lives for the better. Oak Ridge wants to be a part of God's work in restoring lives and family relationships. There is light at the end of the tunnel. That light can be found through the Oak Ridge Disciple House. For more information, visit them online at oakridgediscipleshouse.com. Post game here on 101.7 KSAM Digital alongside Ken Holland of the Bearcats Sports Network. I'm Rob Hip. It's Sam Houston women. They take care of business. It was a tough contest through the first two quarters. Faith Cook put them up for good, though, on that three on her second to last possession of the second quarter. I believe at that time it was 39 to 38 after the three-pointer. Nichols, they just could not respond going into the third. But really in that fourth, the Bearcats ending this game and the final 13 minutes. So you go back to the final three minutes of the third, all of the rest of the ball game in the fourth, 33 to eight run. Ken, that is what you do in tournament play. And a career night, as we mentioned earlier, for Amber Leggett with 36 points for the Southland Conference Women's Player of the Year. Yeah, it was an impressive uh, second half for the Bearcats scoring 51 points in that second half versus the Colonels 22. They just took it to a different level. I think what that really does, it gives them a lot of confidence. They're gelled back together after having a little bit of time off, and it sets them up well to play Southeastern Louisiana tomorrow at 4 o'clock. It was a tough contest earlier this season against Southeastern Louisiana. It was a game that the Bearcats won at the end of that ball game, and I believe splitting the series uh, with Southeastern this season. So that sets up a really delightful next round coming up. Of course, the games here in the women's tournament will go through Sunday. That champion will be crowned on Sunday. Uh, but we'll try to have as much coverage as we can. Of course, got football tomorrow at noon. And then these lady, uh, the Bearcats, will face Southeastern tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Final numbers here for Sam Houston. Out-rebounding Nichols by 10, 49 to 39, 15 on the offensive side, 34 defensive rebounds. The Bearcats, they were dishing it out tonight. 19 assists, 22 turnovers. They blocked three of them, stole 17, 24 points off of 25 Nichols turnovers. And down in the paint, that's where the Bearcats dominate, 52 tonight. And, uh, you know, that's just the way it goes. For Nichols, 39 rebounds, 15 on the offensive side of the glass, 24 on the defense. They dished out eight assists, 25 turnovers. Uh, 13 steals, though, for Nichols compared to 17. Did I mention that earlier? <laughs> yeah, 17 steals yeah. for Sam Houston. That is incredible tonight. Uh, Nichols only had 12 points off of 22 Sam Houston turnovers, 38 down 
in the paint. Leading scorer again, a career night for Amber Leggett. Finished it up with 36 points, 14 of 20 from the field, 8 of 10 from the free throw line. She had nine rebounds and assists and two blocks to go with that. Right behind her, two players with 14. How about the double-double by Faith Cook tonight? 14 points, 5 of 22 from the field, only 1 of 10 from three-point line, but that three-pointer that she hit was huge as it gave the Bearcats the lead for good heading into halftime. Three of three from the charity stripe, three uh, rebounds, but 11 assists. So she gets the double-double on the assist side tonight. And then also with 14 points, Madeline Batista. I really liked her performance and how she came out there. She stayed strong, creating a lot of opportunities as she was poking the ball away on both the offense and the defensive side. And then you switch things up, and we mentioned so much Kaylee Jefferson. She only had four points, but a lot of her damage was done on the defensive side of the ball, Ken. Right, she had eight rebounds on the ball game, also had four assists and a, a three steals, and a, even put in a block. So she's, she's all over the place on the defensive side. Chelsea Kane finished with 16 points for Nichols Colonel, 6 of 18 from the field, 4 of 5 from the charity stripe. She had a double-double with 11 rebounds in 35 minutes. Again, your final tonight here in Katy, Texas, 89 to 59. Sam Houston women advance. They will face southeastern Louisiana. It's the Lions tomorrow at 4 p.m. For more coverage, stay with us on Facebook as well as our social media page. You can find us at KSAM Sports and also 1017 KSAM. For Ken Holland, I'm Rob Pipp. It's been a good one, Ken. Pleasure sitting next to you, and hopefully we'll do it again sometime this weekend, my friend. All right. We need to go to Sunday. Appreciate everybody back at KSAM Studios, our director of operations, Steve Ricks, our general manager, Dave Donahue, and all the Sam Houston staff, including Ben Reichert, alongside Cody Stark, Jason Barfield, our athletic director, Coach Bobby Williams. One final time, your score, 89-59, to Sam Houston advances. They are the victors here this afternoon. Friends, as I end every broadcast, reminding you today that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there needs you. Good afternoon, and God bless. From Katy, Texas, we'll see you later.